Hi, this is Mali and today we're going to draw Gogo. So let's start with the envelope. It looks like his face could fit inside a rectangle, a rather short rectangle this time. So the face includes the ears. That's for the size. Next, uh, I'm going to cut in half the rectangle to control the symmetry. It's about the same size on the left side and on the right side. Next, uh, to me, the head looks like a big water drop. So I will draw a big water drop and then before placing the ears I want to place the eyes. So the eye line is about halfway between the top of the head and the chin. The nostrils is about halfway, maybe less, between the eye line and uh, the chin. Now, the ears, the top of the ears is below, obviously, like that, and they take about maybe one third. We have one third and two third. So that would be the lines for the ears. Next, um, it looks like you have one third to the left side of the nose and another third for the right side of the nose. I'm just placing the big shapes first, in this case the nose. I'm gonna make it round right now and then the corner of the eyes line up with the sides of the nose, the left side and the right side. The eyes are pretty small, maybe half the size of the width of the nose. So they'll, they'll be right there. I draw another square here. Look, it already, it already looks like go go. The eyes, the nose, the ears are lined up with the um, eyebrows, if I can say. And then I'm just going to draw for now a tilted triangle on each side. Now let's erase and you can see that it looks like a pig. I erase the lines I don't need anymore before refining the shapes and work on the details. Now let's go back to the nose. It's about the right shape. It's more pointy above. The bottom is flat because that's the upper lip and then below the lower lip. 
I would place the nestral on the left and the one on the right. Next, I'm going to draw the eyes. So the bottom is slightly slanted, it goes up, and then the eye looks like a triangle with curves. I'll do the same thing on this side. I start like a triangle, but I curve the tip and the sides. You can barely see the uh, eyeballs, but I'm going to draw them anyway. This is just a quick sketch again. I'm not going to draw all the details. I keep it simple so we can copy what I do. Here I'm going to suggest the muzzle. It's symmetrical, so it's easy. And then I'm going to place the ears. So they're pretty close to the uh, top of the eye. It's curvy, but the top is not flat, it's more round. So that's what we'll do. And the same thing on the right side. The distances and the size are good, so I just curve my lines. To find where the, uh, this part of the ear ends, I can see that it lines up with the eye and the same thing on this side. Now, the top. Just going to draw lines to show it's hairy or furry. I trace lines on top of my sketch line. I will do the same thing now for the side of the head. Start with the left side. The chin. Pay attention to the lines. They are not just straight horizontal lines. You want to curl them a little bit. Here we have short vertical lines. Curvy horizontal lines or slanted. It will be the same thing for the right side. I know where it ends, so I just need to trace my short lines up to the ear. I will do the same thing inside the ears now. And on the ref, uh, left side. And I will end with the gray pattern So it looks more like Gogo and not just any pig. I'll dress longer lines here. A 
Let's not forget the thickness of the ear. Right there. I will shade inside the ears. So they look more 3D. Now I can darken the eyes. We don't see the iris, irises and the pupil, so I will just darken the whole thing. Now let's erase those squares. the nose and let's not forget to mark right there and of course darken the nostrils And I think I'm done for today. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, like this video. Keep practicing and I will see you next time.